Hey everyone, in this Forza Motorsport car design and paint guide, I'm going to show you how to create this rather pretty looking Mustang here. So we're going to go through a few things like applying decals or decals if you prefer. Uh, also vinyl groups like you can see just under the 5 litre sign there. We've got a little GM logo there where I use the vinyl groups. We're going to change the colour of the car to this lovely yellow paint that we've got here. I've also shared this car design, it's yellow GM if you want to see the actual design that I made as well. Uh, but let's get cracking and see how to do this. So on the home menu here of Forza Motorsport, we're going to go into the car section and you can see I've got a plain colour on my car here. So I've set this up nice and simple so you can see how everything works. So on the route menu, go over to cars and then go into design and paint. And inside design and paint is where you're going to get lots of things that you can adjust. But we need to pick our car first, so we'll go with the Ford Mustang GT. And here is where we can get cracking on the design. So the first thing we're going to look at is paint car. So we select, select this, the button's down the bottom there. So A for me. And then we've got all these options here. We can apply decals or decals if you prefer. Depends where you are in the world, how you pronounce it. Don't mind me for saying decals. It's a UK thing. <laughs> So we've got that, we've got paint, we can erase stuff, we can go to my designs, a final group editive, group select, car select, etc, etc. First thing we're going to have a little look at is paint because that's of course the biggest change that we can do in terms of, you know, the basic colour of it. So we go into here, select this with A, and then when you're on the paint menu, uh, something that you can do is paint the body, the hood, the mirror, wing, wheels, brakes and tint windows. So we'll do a few bits here and just kind of get the look that we had before. So on the body, we'll go to this and then select it. And you can pick whatever color that you want here. So I'm going to go with a yellow. Um, so we've got all these ones here, but if you want the stock yellow, like what Ford would put on the car, you can do that up the top left. You see it says LBRB, hit RB, and then you'll get to the manufacturer colors. So you see we've got this kind of orangey color here. So there's all these different colors here. If you want to go with one of Ford colors, you can go there or we can come back to here. And if you would rather your own color, if it's not quite right, you could go here and just decide what yellow you want. So I'm gonna go with that one, but just to show you, you can do that. One thing I forgot to say there, if your color is not quite right here, down the bottom, you've got color fine tune. So if you hit X, we then get a full hue saturation of brightness mode here where we can pick exactly the color we want. So we'll come back out of here and we have done the paint. So when we're ready to save that, we can do that down the bottom. You see it's the screens button to save. So I'll do that and it'll say, do you wanna save this design catalog? Do you wanna share it? What I suggest you do while you're building your car design is just design it, uh, save to design it catalog. So we'll do that. And it, this will then say, where do you wanna save it? Be careful you don't override an existing design. I don't wanna override this one. What I wanna do is, is create a new one here. So I'll just select it here and we're gonna call it, I don't know, I don't know, man. I'm just going to call it yellow. And I'm going to spell it bad. Yellow. Yellow. Because I'm going to delete it anyway. <laughs> right. So we have saved that. And that's our sort of base design. Okay. So we're back in here. If we want to come back out to the other things, uh, what we can now do is hit the back button. So B to go back. Uh, and then we could mess around with the body and the wing mirrors and stuff like that. So if you wanted, for example, black wing mirrors, we could go to these and just change the color of these. So maybe you want them black just for a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of difference there. We can do that. And we can do the same with anything else. If you want to have a black spoiler, for example, or you want to change the colors of those, uh, what I might do is just paint the brakes. So you can see they're red at the minute. So I'll go in here and I'll just have a little look at these and see, I'm not sure that's actually showing up, is it? It doesn't look like it wants to. Uh, I was hoping it would, but it does not look. No, I was, I was hoping it was going to do the calipers on the front, but I can't see that that's done. But never mind. I suppose it depends on the car. You can also tint the windows. So the, the one here, jump into here, and you could pick whatever tint you want. And you may see some sort of color option here, but I'll go with the black. Uh, and then we'll come out here. So we could say save to the current car or cancel or whatever. So I'll just say save to the current car. So let's move on to the exciting bit, which is decals or decals, whatever you like to call it. And this is the area where you can get things looking a lot more interesting. So it gives you some design tips here, talking about layers. The best way I can describe a layer is a bit like a glass plate, if you can imagine things on that, and then you can stack them on top of each other if you want, or just have them separate on the car. Uh, but this tells you a little bit about this, so we'll just say okay. 
So what we have here, the right stick is moving me around the car and up top left, uh, you can see what we're painting. So currently we're having a little look at the right side of the car. And if I RB over, I can do the rear bumper, the wing. Uh, it looks like I forgot to, to delete the um, sort of little bit on the wing there. Um, so I'll show you that. So you see on the wing here, if you want to delete something, we can just cut that. So we'll go back to a plain design here, as we can see. So we've got to think where we're going to put stuff and you know what we want to do first. So what I'm going to look at first is the top of the hood uh, and the hood. So this in this particular car design, those two are linked. So when I'm looking at this, I hit it with select, uh, which was A. And then I want to add something to here. So for a new layer, I just on the bottom there, you can see that's highlighted. We just hit A to go OK. And it says, what do you want to do? Do you want to apply a vinyl shape or a load a layer group or a mask shape or what? So we're going to go with a, a vinyl shape. And then here you have access to loads of these. And if you've played Forza games before, you could well be used to these already. So there's all sorts of stuff. There's either basic shapes or if you go through, you can see community vinyls, uh, all sorts of stuff here. And as you go through, the one I did for this particular design was this one, or you might prefer this one for a little more interest on the racing stripes. But I'm going to go with this one because that's the one I had in my original car. So I'll go with OK. So the first thing you can see is the color. So we can pick a color. I'm just going to go with black, but free to pick whatever color you want. Choose OK. And then we need to move this around. So you can see as I move the left stick, this moves around. But it's the wrong way around. You know, we, we need it to go the other way across the car. And it's very slim at the minute. We want to have like a thick old set of two stripes. So at the top left hand side, right button until you come over to spin. And then you can spin this around like this. And down the bottom right hand side, you see we've got snap mode. So if you hold that, if you then use your left stick, you'll snap between predefined areas like 45 degrees or 90 degrees. And of course, we want the 90 degrees thing here. So hold that snap. And then when you're happy with that, move the LB over to wherever you want to be. So if I move it over here like so, this is good. And then right button. So I'm going to now increase the size. So you can see the left and right would move it this way if you want a wider stripe. And then up and down will go this way and give you a longer stripe. Now this will take a little while to stretch this one because it was a very thin decal um, or decal. <laughs> it's so hard for me to do the two there. But you can see as we gradually scale this up, we are getting so it's covering the whole top of the car. It should also start appearing on the bonnet in a minute when we get that far. So we just keep going. Just keep going. There we go. So here it comes. We also might want to center up again in a minute. So we'll see. We'll just see how far we need to go here. I don't think it hits the boot as well. I think it's just these two. So what we'll do now is right button, sorry, left button uh, to move. And then we can move it over this way. And then you can see we're nearly there. And then right button again and just size up again, just so it hits the front of the bonnet as well. Now, the weird thing with this for me is the sort of uh, centrally placing it on the car is a little bit weird on this car for some reason I'm not sure why but you kind of have to manually line this one up so if we left button over to the move you can see if I put this bang on uh, the center point it looks like it's slightly off to me it might be my imagination but I don't think it is if you look on that bonnet you see like we've got the vents so I think this has to come across a little bit on this particular design. To fine tune the movement, if you use your left and right on your D-pad, you'll be able to center up just where you want it. But I think it needs to be about 4.5. Quite why, I do not know, but that's just how I had to line this one up on mine. But you can see we've got that nice stripe on the center of the car now. So we're gonna go OK to apply that. So down the bottom you see A is OK. And that is that done. So we've got the hood done there. So let's move to another one and I want to finish this stripe off. So the rear bumper, uh, but also the wing. So I'm going to look at the wing first. So we'll do a new layer again and we'll apply that vinyl shape, same shape. So we'll go here. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a way of just um, applying the same size. You might be able to do it with vinyl groups. So I've not really thought too much about it, but we'll go with the black again and then I'll just move this so we can see it. And then I will size this uh, and then I've got to think what I applied as the other size, I think it was 0.30, I would guess, but we'll go and have a little look at that in a minute. And then we'll just ramp that size up like we did with the other bit. And I don't think this comes on the the boot. Um, I think it just goes on there, but you get the idea there. So we can do that there. And then we just want to be checking that we're lining this up roughly the same uh, with the back, which can be difficult like we see here. 
so you can see we can zoom in a little bit but I think it's more by eye we've got to do this one although that looks about right to me that still looks like the center because if you look at the GT badge that looks good to me so that's where I'm going to put it so when we're happy with that we go okay and then we probably just want to go back to the top view and just have a little look at what we applied as the sizes for that so if I select this vinyl again and choose change position what I'm looking at is the size so I actually set it at 0.38 so I'm going to lock that down to say let's see what 0.3 looks like I think 0.3 so we'll go with 0.3 well I don't know actually let's have a look 0.35 maybe slightly thicker <laughs> I do like that 0.3 yeah all right let's st let's stick with 0.38 so we'll go and have a little look at the other part of the car so it was where was it somebody remember 0.38 for me <laughs> Uh, so we'll go to this one and we'll change the position. Of course, if you were doing this, um, you know, yourself, you could think about how you want these to to be handled. So 0.38 there. See, to me, it looks like it's making those slightly wider. So I'm not sure, um, you know, quite why that is. So to me, that looks better. So you may need to fine tune it. So I'm going to go with that uh, and go OK. And then we'll have a little look at the rear bumper and we'll go new layer and we'll do the same thing. So there it is. And we'll go with the color again. Oops. And the size. We'll go with a 0.38 to begin with and just see whether that looks right or wrong. And you can see we can do things like opacity and stuff like that. But this looks like there and then the size like we saw with the other things so using up on your d-pad will do that a little bit quicker so that looks a little bit thick there so i'm going to bring that in about there looks about right because yeah like i say it just doesn't seem to quite do the scale quite as you would expect so we'll go okay with that and then we will move to another one. So we've got to do the bumper. There we go, new layer. And again, same thing. And just see that one does look like it's the the point three eight for some reason it's so weird i don't know why it is oops ah now you see that would be quite handy just to line them up so you see it's point three eight but it's definitely that's that's where we need to line up to match the one that we've got on the bumper but yeah let me know how you get on with it so whether, whether you've seen that it needs to go somewhere else or slightly off to match because on the bumper that oh, sorry on the bonnet that definitely looks like it needs to be there certainly to me anyway and yeah there we go so we're just so I'm using the fine tune there just to try and get that spot on it looks like it just needs to move just slightly smaller to me but then it's not quite right the other side I don't know maybe it's about there Yeah, one, one goes one side, one goes the other. So whether you can get it perfectly, I am not sure, quite frankly. Uh, it also doesn't seem to go on the lip of the car. So we're going to go with that and go, OK. It's close. It's close. And then we're going to have a little look at the sides. So if we go to the right side here. Now, this was a little bit random what I did with my designs. Um, but I'll show you the sort of thing I did. So apply a vinyl shape. And then on here, you've got all sorts of stuff. And some of the things I think is always nice are the tribal things, which you can see at the top. So I've got an RB to get across to these. So we'll go with this one here. You can pick a color and then just move it around. So I think this one was sort of quite low down on the car for me. So you could either have it, you know, just before the wheel here or sort of cut it off like that. I think looks quite nice. Or maybe up a, just a touch just there. So we'll go with that. So I'm quite happy with that. You could scale it as well, but in that, with that one, I think that one actually works quite nice like that. So then we move across for a new layer 
and then we can apply another shape. So now I cannot remember what on earth I used for the other thing. So we're just going to go with something that where I, you know, I think of what I think looks nice. Uh, so we'll go with this one. I think I used this one as well on my car. So you can see here we've got this option here and then right button if we want to adjust the scale. So you probably want to have the scale similar if you want the, the design to look you know, in proportion to how it was before. So I probably don't want it quite that big. So let's just go 1.1, just slightly bigger, just so you can see. So I'm using the D-pad just to adjust these manually, just so it's nice and accurate, and then move back to the move, and then just move this wherever you want it. So maybe there looks quite nice. So we'll go with that. And then we'll get add another one, add another vinyl shape, and just think what else might look nice on the car. Quite like that one, looks pretty cool. And again, we pick the color and move this around. And you may like how that is sitting on the car just like that. But another thing you could think about is rotating it. So if you want to try a different sort of sort of position on the car or rotation, you can do that and then move back. So I'm using LBRB to flick between those things at the top left just to see where works quite nice with this particular design. I quite like that actually, that was quite cool. Uh, so there, yeah, that looks quite nice to me. And you just keep building stuff up. So I'll also show you how you create vinyl groups in just a second as well. Uh, so let's see, what else could we have? You, you obviously don't have to stick with just the tribal and stuff as well. You could have a little look at some of the other things here if you wanna mix it up with something else. You can put a little uh, sort of lettering on there as well. Uh, just trying to think what else might look quite nice on here. That one looks quite cool to me. So we'll go there. And of course you could mix it up with other colors if you wanted. So I'm gonna go with that one and just stick that over the wheel arch there. I think that looks pretty cool. So that one's an example where we probably want it just, so sort of scaling it down on the Y sometimes might work quite well. So it's up to you whether you want to do that or not, or maybe you just want to scale globally. Uh, so I think that works quite well. And then move back to the move like so. So we got quite a few going on there. I'm going to add one more just over the front wheel arch. Uh, and let's have a little look at what might work nicely there. Maybe that one. So again, the color and we'll move it up this way. So that's one where we might want to stretch it further across. So I'll move across and I'm going to up the horizontal scale on this particular one. So it's much longer, maybe not quite that long and then move it. That looks pretty cool to me because it's kind of kind of flowing into the one behind, isn't it? So that's pretty cool. So we'll go with that one. Now, of course, you are free to have a little look and add some design to the rear bumper if you want, or whether you just want to keep that plain and just keep the sides quite tribal. Uh, and then, you know, entirely up to you there. But if you wanted to add something here, you could, of course, you could add a manufacturer de decal or decal on the back there if you wanted. So if we wanted like a little uh, OZ, for example, uh, we could add that and I'll just change the size. Oh, I've somehow managed to flip it. <laughs> Have I done that? Got into the negative somehow, there we go. I'm not quite sure how I've managed that. Hello, there we go. Uh, so you can move that and apply that wherever you want it. So it looks like, uh, if we look at the scale again, yeah, that looks about right. So entirely up to you if you wanted that on the car. And we'll add one just for a bit of interest, I suppose. You can always delete them if you're not happy with them as well. And we'll add another one. And think about what might look nice on the other side. Um, maybe Recaro. So here, and then we'll adjust the size down like so. And you could obviously line these up a bit nicer if you wanted. 
So I'll go with there. And you are then free to adjust those if you see fit, or you know whether you want to delete them or not, or if you need to go back and adjust them. So if I think actually that Recaro needs to move across, I can select it here, and I can say change position, and just adjust it wherever we want, like that. Oh, hang on. So we're good there. So the right side looks good. Let's see if we can get that on the left side. So to do that, if I flick to the left side and then select it with A, then what I can say is insert all from right slash left side and check it out. Everything from the other side is pasted all the way over to the other side. And we're pretty much there with our card design. So you could obviously go in and adjust things, tweak things a little bit if you wanted. So now I'm going to show you how to create a vinyl group and this can be useful if you're going to use a combination of vinyls and you're going to use them on several cars such as a logo that you might like or a particular set of vinyls. So we'll go into here, create vinyl group and then we'll go new layer and what I'm going to do is just create some sort of little logo idea. So we'll go apply vinyl shape and then I'm right buttoning over to see these different things that we've got on here. Come on load, there we go. So the idea I had was some sort of paint splat, which uh, nicely there is a paint splat there. And I want something, something that works quite well. Maybe that. Yeah, I think that's about, about right. So we'll go with that. And then I'm going to change that to black and then right button to change the size. Uh, so just so I can see it a bit better, you can always tweak it when it's on the actual car itself. So we'll go with that. Well, I should probably just go to three for cleanliness. You can use a snap mode down the bottom right hand side if you want just to snap to big numbers. So hold right trigger and then you can snap. So we'll go okay there. Then I could just apply vinyls on top of here, but what would be quite nice is if the letters that I'm gonna be have on there would show the color that's underneath this paint splat. So I'm gonna go new layer and I'm gonna apply a mask shape and that'll just cut something out of this particular thing. So I'm right buttoning over for the letters and what I'm looking for is just a G and an M. So we're going to go with that one. And you can see there, you see it's cutting it out of this shape, uh, which is cool. So we're going to go here. And I just want to make that slightly bigger, uh, like that. And this is an example where you might want to mess with the scale a bit, just to sort of come up with something a little bit uh, nicer, I suppose, or something that matches what you're, what you're thinking of. So like that works quite nice for me. So we'll select that and then a new layer here and we'll go the same thing, apply a mask shape and we'll go with an M. If you've not worked that out, Grub Magnet is my channel. So that's why we're looking at this. So we'll move here and then we'll go up with the size and then move that. So we just need to see where it would quite work nicely, I suppose. Maybe there. Let's just tweak that scale, maybe. That looks, oh, maybe there. So yeah, I think I'm fairly happy with that. So we're gonna save that now. And then down the bottom, you can see save. So we hit the screens button for it. Save to the design catalog. You can choose to save it or keep it private if you want. So it's entirely up to you. So I'll go with the private for the minute. So we'll save it here, just wherever the down icon is. And then you just give it a name. So I'll just call it GM and call. So if you shared them, other people could use that particular vinyl group as well. So we've got that all done. So now what we're gonna do is add that to the car. So we go back to my designs and then find what car we want to put it on. So we could go with this one or this one. So I'm gonna go with my original design here because that's the one that's already shared shared and then I'll load this. So now we're in here, we're going to go to the apply decals or decals and then yeah, that's all fine. So we want to add one of those um, little sort of groups that we had. So we'll go to a new layer and then here you can see this is where we'd load a layer group. So that's what we want to do. So I'll go and find my groups and because it's got a mask on it doesn't show very well in this area, but we'll just select that and we'll say load it. There it is there, it's huge. So we don't want it quite that big. So we'll scale this right down and there it is. And then we need to think where would make sense oh, somehow accidentally, there we go. Where would make sense for this? So I'm just gonna make it quite dinky. So you can use the left and right D-pad if you want to just move that a little bit and then wherever you want it. So we'll go to the move. I'm probably just under there I would think like so. 
so you can see it there. Just think where would make sense for it. So if you want to zoom in a little bit, you can use the advanced camera. So I've pressed right on the right stick there just to zoom in a little bit and then I can decide where I want this exactly. So I'll just mess around with the size until I'm quite happy with it. So we'll go there, it looks quite cool. So we'll go okay. And then that one, if I want to paste it to the other side, we can do that. So we'll just select this and say, uh, flip it, sorry, mirror to the other side. And hopefully, There it is, except you can see we need to do something with that. So we'll select this one here, select it, and then we'll just say flip it horizontal. There you go. So we're all good. And then once you're happy with that, you can hit the screens button and save. Save to design catalog or save to design catalog and share. So I'll go with that. And I'll just select that original one because I just want that updated and uh, we're all good. So we could say unshare and then we'll say share. So then we can call it whatever. So we'll go racing, we'll go original and we'll go yellow uh, let's call it yellow GM. There we go. We'll save it and there you can see that that's now been made uh, available so yellow gm is the one that you'll see so created there no one following you yet but hopefully you can find that and there you go my friends that's how to create this car design in the design and paint area of forza motorsport i hope that was useful to you if it was give us a thumbs up please that's much appreciated any comments welcome if you need more help with the game do let me know with what and i'll make some more tutorials in coming days slash weeks on forza motorsport but i hope you like what you see thanks so much for watching a little comment would be much appreciated and hit that subscribe if you like what i do cheers